Nido Thanyan was the son of Nido Pavitra. He's a Congress MLA from Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, and Nido Pavitra is with us on the phone line at this time. Uh, sir, I know this is an unbelievably tragic and difficult time for you, which is why I thank you for speaking uh, to us here on Headlines today. Could you just tell us everything you know right now about the circumstances around which you lost your son, sir? Yeah. I have uh, to I and my wife were so much to see the dancer. We never got to see our son, and we are yet to understand how he could have died. I only pray that no son or daughter of a county may suck a death. Justice is the only peace that can put my son's soul to rest. From the media, I have come to know that my son was so fed by the police. To the same locality, where this incident took Maybe if you are given some taken and taken to the hospital by the police, he would be alive today. As a father, we can only express our gratitude to all those who have come forward to help us in this hour of grief. I also thank all my colleagues, students, and and for people who are making efforts to send my son's body to be left to rest in honor. Uh, Mr. Pavitra, I, I, I uh, I know, I know what a difficult time this is for you. It's, it's difficult for anyone to imagine what you're going through at this point of time. Uh, could you tell us, sir, this is my final question before I let you go, uh, what your next step is going to be? Are you going to be coming to Delhi? Are you going to be taking this up in a bigger way with the Delhi police and the government? Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, yeah, something my uh, son's body tomorrow, and I'll go to my native place, at comment. There I'll be uh, staying for uh, this time. In the meantime, the first the administrative world, it will stay or tell me to take immediate action to reverse the conflict to prevent such serious crimes in Delhi. Even if you join the top news to set out from the locality, it is a duty of the Delhi government and the police to investigate immediately and deliver justice like that. Uh, Mr. Mr. Pavitra, uh, it, it, it is my duty to ask you this final question. How is your family coping with this absolutely unbelievable tragedy at this time? Because I want to tell you that we here in the media and especially us here at Headlines today are going to be covering this story in the most sensitive way possible and we offer you our deepest condolences. But can you tell us how your family is coping with this tragedy at this time, sir? Nido Pavitra, thank you for speaking to headlines today. You can hear it in his voice. It's uh, it cannot be it cannot be imagined the pain of a father who's just lost his child. Unbelievable. Let's not even presume that we can uh, you know imagine what kind of pain a parent actually goes through. He'll be collecting the body of his 18-year-old son, Nido Tanya. Well, he was lynched by a mob in a central market in Delhi. The details of that entire fracas are still only coming out now. But I want to go across now to headlines today's Atir Khan, who's been tracking this story and getting us the perspective from the police as well. Atir, who all have the police questioned so far? Well, Chief, the police uh, has questioned, uh, Delhi police has questioned the shopkeepers and the people who are present there at that particular point of time when this uh, scuffle and uh, you know this incident happened and thereafter also when he was dropped back he was picked from the same spot by these same hoodlums who had taken uh, him into their custody and beaten him up allegedly blue and black now we what we know is that the police uh, has detained three persons um, which uh, are in their custody now and at the same time they have also registered a case of section 302 read with uh, prevention of atrocities to scheduled caste and scheduled tribes uh, 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 act you know these sections have been slapped but then the question remains why no arrest uh, what we are learning from sources is that the police wants to rule out any foul play because this incident happened yesterday and thereafter uh, the deceased had gone to his house 
they want to ensure that in between uh, there was no foul play and that's why this autopsy and they're waiting for the report uh, to ensure that they arrest these persons who are behind this uh, brutal attack. An absolutely brutal attack, uh, the likes of which we haven't seen uh, in the recent past. I want to go across to uh, Pankaj Upadhyay as well. Pankaj, uh, you've been speaking to several people from the community and we do know that here in Delhi there are uh, you know, thousands of people from the Northeast who've lived, uh, you know, who've lived and flourished in the city. This is, this is as much their city as it is anybody else's. What is the sense that you get? I mean, the racist angle, the, the, the prejudice, the anger about the hostility that's always brimming at the surface. All of it has come to the surface at this time, Pankaj. Shiv, half an hour back, I was at Lajpat Nagar area where this unfortunate incident took place. There are around uh, half a dozen of people from the northeast who stay there and I, I did manage to talk to two of them they, they did not want to come on camera they were scared and one of the lady interestingly who's in the police force says that she has been in delhi for the past four years and she has not seen a day when comments have not been passed on her when she moves from the locality and mind you this is a posh area in lajpatnagar area additionally Look at this new face of Delhi. Look at the character of, this peop of the people. This incident happened in the late afternoon time. Yeah. There was altercation in the main street, in the main bazaar. Around 50 to 60 people would have been present at, at, at that point of time. No one even bothered to stop this altercation. This boy in, in his early 20s was being beaten black and blue. No one bothered to come and intervene and stop. And later he succumbed to his injuries as we all know. But here outside Arunanchal Bhavan, there are few members. Uh, uh, who reside in the north uh, northeastern part of our country but they clearly state they will stand here and they've told me the entire account that they are scared they are not ready to come on camera they say they don't want to be identified they are scared living in this city now this is the national capital shiv this is the real yes. face of delhi the crime graph as it is has been plummeting over the months it is going down the rate is going down we have politics being played by everybody blaming one for another but where does the buck stop i have the gentleman here saying that remarks are made at him every day he doesn't feel secure here i might just try sorry that he had said he doesn't want to talk on camera one only one thing do you feel safe in delhi the nodding of the head, no. He doesn't want to talk further as well. I will not disturb these ladies. They clearly maintain they don't want okay. to come on camera. But then the bigger picture, Shiv, these people are not safe. What is the police doing? As I said, where is the crime graph growing in the, going in this city, Lajpatnagar, and that colony, part one, one of the most posh area of Lajpatnagar yes. incident takes place. No one bothers to come. So, really big questions to be answered by big the Delhi police here. Big questions by the Delhi police, by the people of Delhi uh, and the, the, the shopkeepers. These are, there are questions in this story for literally everybody concerned. Thanks very much, uh, Pankaj, for getting us that update.